Our brand new cycle of basic space lands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Yesterday we kind of took the day off, just kind of relaxed, had a good relaxing weekend. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the giveaway. Congratulations to our winner, Outlaw Pete. I know he is a uh, avid watcher of the channel. He's also hung out with us on stream a couple times. He's in our Discord. Very, very active and it's always great um, to, to be able to support someone who really, really supports us. So uh, congratulations to Outlaw Pete. Thank you again for everybody that entered. But today, we are jumping back in. We are officially past uh, the date where companions have been essentially nerfed, so we won't be seeing too much of them, uh, at least in the same capacity, uh, as well as Fires of Invention and Agent of Treachery, both banned. Now, with those bannings, a lot of decks got quite a lot worse, one of those being the Winota deck. Uh, Winota was very, very good because you could cheat out Agent of Treachery very, very early, my thought is, I want to see how Winota does post-ban. I want to see how it does without the Agent of Treachery. Uh, and so I was looking at lists this morning, kind of trying to find one that I really, really could get behind. This is the one that I found that I really enjoyed. Now, uh, that being said, I've only tested it once or twice, so I'm not 100% sure, you know, how good this will be. Uh, but that's what we're here to find out. So, obviously, without Agent, we have to rely on other things to get us to the win. Uh, and what's nice about this is we've actually got quite a few ways to really just go ham with the Winota. So, uh, first of all, if you don't know what Winota actually does, whenever a non-human creature you control attacks, you look at the top six cards of your deck. Uh, when you do, you get to choose a human card from among them, put it onto the battlefield tapped and attacking, and it gains indestructible until the end of the turn. You put the rest on the bottom of your deck. So, uh, the, the configuration here is a lot of times you see kind of a 50-50 split between humans and non-humans. Uh, and this deck is really no different. Uh, we see things like Grim Initiate as well as uh, Lazatep Reaver. These are kind of early game cards and even things like Raise the Alarm. They're early game kind of two for one-ish. Uh, Lazatep Reaver definitely. Raise the Alarm definitely. Grim Initiate kind of. Uh, you know, it just has some built-in protection if it dies. Uh, and so these kind of give you the ability to make sure that you've got triggers for when you drop the Winota. Uh, the Anax here also very, very good at making sure that we've always got something uh, that's going to trigger the Winota, which is also really important. And then the rest of it is things like, we, we've got things like Judith, we've got Tajik, we've got uh, Hactos all of which are humans and very, very powerful ones at that, that can come in attacking and hopefully just swinging for the win very, very quickly. Uh, to help us get there and to help us stay in the game, we've got Fight as One as ways to give Indestructible, uh, as well as a little bit of a power and toughness boost as well. Uh, we also have General's Enforcer as an extra human here, uh, and legendary humans you control have Indestructible when this is out on the field, which is really, really nice because obviously... You know, we've got a lot of legendary humans, so uh, that's exactly the goal. And then this alone can actually start spitting out, uh, you know, little 1-1 creatures and exile stuff from the graveyard, which is very important uh, in this uh, current meta. So uh, we also have Embercleave here as kind of a backup way to really finish the game. Uh, it's a great thing to be able to just drop this and say, okay, I, I mean, I got it, you know. Uh, and so very, very happy to see that in. You'll notice we're not running the full four of a lot of these. Uh, the, the General's Enforcer we are because it is not legendary, but uh, a lot of these legendary uh, creatures we are not running the full four of. Obviously, we can't run too many of them, so I think that that makes a lot of sense. Um, in looking at our land count, we are at the exact 24, the, the basic kind of standard configuration. So we've got one plains, one swamp, two mountains, uh, Godless Shrine, Blood Crypt and Sacred Foundry all at the full four. Uh, Temple of Triumph and Temple of Malice only at a, as a one of. We're not really looking to have too many scry lands or tapped lands. Uh, we don't really have to worry about it as much as some other aggro decks because, again, we're, we're really just trying to get to turn four here. Uh, so we can be a little bit inefficient in the early turns and it not be the worst thing as long as we've got something down. Uh, Savai Trium, we do have four of, and then two Fabled Passage to help search out our basic land. So that's the list. Very excited to see how this goes. Um, I don't know. Honestly, I, I, I am not positive how this will go. Uh, obviously, without Agent of Treachery, this is this deck takes a hit. Like, the, the Jeskai Winota deck was very, very powerful. 
being able to cheat out your uh, your agent of treachery, steal some stuff, and then really take over the game was insane. Uh, unfortunately, we can't do that anymore, but that's okay. We'll we'll make do with just a regular Winota deck. Uh, but I hope you guys all had a fantastic weekend. Um, it was uh, it was nice and relaxing this weekend. I I was. I think I've been, um, you know, recording every single day and doing all that stuff. Wow, we cannot keep this. Um, as much as I love recording, every once in a while, it's nice to kind of take a little bit of a break. Um, you know, it's it it gets to be a lot after a while, and so you do have to kind of taper yourself back from time to time. Uh, this is a pretty aggressive hand. If we can get a couple lands, we're in great shape, but we'll see if we can get there. Um Interesting. So potentially mono red. Yep. Uh, looking at our frame rates also. Sorry if they get a little bit rough. Uh, that's good. Um, let's do this. And let's just do this. Get to a mass again here. Uh, and swing in for two. Um, we are taking quite a bit of damage off of our own shock lands here. So we're going to need to keep that in mind as we go through. But that's okay. Okay. So next turn we get to drop Judith, which is very, very good. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, Judith is just very, very powerful. Uh, this may take us off of the turn four Winota, unfortunately, but uh, this gives us a little bit more staying power against a lot of these cards. So I'm actually pretty happy with this. Um, do we attack with both? I'm going to say yes. Let's just, uh, let's keep the damage going. Um, it's a bit aggressive, and they probably are going to try and kill this Judith here. Actually, not too unhappy if they do. Uh, we still get to... Oh, okay. Well, there you go. We won. Yeah, go us. Um, okay, that was very aggressive, uh, but it worked out really, really well. Um, <laughs> that was kind of amazing. Um, didn't expect them to give up that quickly, but uh, I do understand, like, against... Against a Judith, uh, your 1-1s one are really, really susceptible. Uh, because, again, at any time something of yours dies uh, on my end, we just get to ping down one of their things. And so, essentially, it becomes, uh, you know, I kill your creature, but I'm also losing my own in the process, and that's not really good enough. Um, we'll keep this. Uh, it's a little bit weird on the doubled-up Winotas here. Um, but... You know, we'll see. Oh, they are playing a Luris deck. Well, that's pretty cool. We'll see. Uh, let me just double check. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to make sure the raise the alarm was instant speed. I was like, yeah, it definitely is, but I'm going to be safe. Um, so uh, we'll plan to raise the alarm at the end of their turn, um, just so they can't really interact with it. Uh, and then the following turn, we may just raise the alarm again. We'll, we'll kind of see. Um, Ideally, we can get to four mana pretty quickly here uh, and get Winota down, and then we're really, really in good shape. Hactos is very good. Uh, we've played a couple decks with Hactos Impact, and like, oh my goodness, is it good. Uh, let's just actually play this out. Um, this just gives us a blocker. Uh, that's it, really. It's this nothing too complicated here. We just need to be able to block this so we're not taking excessive damage. Um, I don't know how good Luris is now. Uh, ooh, that's quite good. Um, not the end of the world, but definitely not bad. Oh, I hope you guys are having a fantastic start to your week. Um, hopefully you're doing something fun this week, maybe working on something really exciting. Um, I'm, I'm very fortunate in that, uh, I've got quite a lot to do. Uh, and so... Recording being part of that, um, and that's perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's get a couple triggers here. Um, wow, we missed. Oh my goodness, no. Uh, okay. Um, well, let's get another one of these, I suppose. It's not really great. That was a pretty bad Winota hit. Um, but, you know, we'll see what we can do. Um, th 
so what's great about this is these give uh, this indestructible, which is really nice. Um, so, you know, we're in an okay shape. Like, we've got a, a substantial board is the takeaway. And they have to go through two of these before they can actually kill the Winota, which is really important. Um, unless they exile it, which is very crucial. They could very easily do that. That's, like, fine. It's not great for us, but it's fine. <laughs> they get to sacrifice it with the Witch's Oven here and get their food token. <laughs> sure. Temple of Malice. Well, uh, ooh, Judith is quite good. Um, I think we're going to keep that. Uh, this does give us the ability to play a lot of stuff next turn, though, which is quite good. Um, let's attack with everything here. Um, they could triple block, but then we're just going to take out two of their things, uh, or at least one of their things here. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. We need to start punching through, so. Um, let's get rid of that. <clears throat> I think that's good. Yeah. Let's just do that. Uh, we still get in for a good bit of damage here. They're going to drain us, and that's fine. Um, but at the end of their turn, we get to raise the alarm, and then we'll have two triggers for the Winota. Um, so I'm perfectly happy with that. Uh, actually, we could just exile, start exiling stuff from their graveyard as well. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. I'm going to let that resolve... Um, they're going to sacrifice it here and that's kind of fine. We're going to, we're going to raise the alarm. Might have been better to block these two and then exile the cauldron familiar. I wasn't thinking of that line. I was kind of rushing it. So maybe that was incorrect, but we, we will see. We will see. That's fine. All right. Let's raise the alarm. Perfect. Uh, Judith, very, very good to get down here because this just makes it so anytime any of our stuff dies, we get to ping some of their stuff. Perfect. Uh, let's do... Honestly, Hactos might be better here. Let's just get Hactos down. There we go. And we got it. Uh, perfect. <clears throat> so... That was exactly what this deck was looking to do. That was fantastic. Uh, and I think we kind of just got to see the first inkling of how how rough it is going to be for these companion cards. Uh, they didn't really have a good time to bring uh, Luris to their hand. Uh, and so you can kind of see just how difficult it will be to truly capitalize on them. Um, I think Luris just got a... I mean, Luris definitely got a lot worse. There's no doubt about that. Yorian... Yes and no. Um, I'm a little on, on edge with Yorian because, uh, you know, as that was one of the bigger ones that I think they needed to kind of do something about. And as they, as it stands, uh, I don't know that they really, I mean, they neutered it for sure, but I don't know that it was really as bad as like Luris, for instance, like we just saw. Uh, and so I don't know. Um, I don't love that, but I am going to keep it. Uh, we do want to get to our fourth land pretty quickly, uh, and so that does help us get there. So we're gonna we're gonna take advantage of that. Uh, let's do that, and let's go ahead and drop out this here, just to give us you know an extra creature um, if they've got a removal spell, which they're in black, so that's a definite possibility. Um, if they've got removal spells, they may use it on one of these guys, but they probably won't be able to do both um, unless they've just got some random build that you know we're not aware of. Um, but here we'll probably just drop the Trium, uh, and then Grim Initiate. Um, we'll do that first and then attack in, see what they want to do. I don't know how much they can do. Okay. They can shock. That's fine. And then here we'll just Grim Initiate. Um, so next turn we do get the Winota down, um, and hopefully... Hopefully we'll get two triggers off of it. We'll see. 
Um, looks like that's going to be the case. Wow, we have drawn three Winotas. That's pretty crazy. Um, let's just attack in. Oh, this is Menace Tribal. Oh, that's interesting. Perfect. That is exactly what we were wanting. Um, these are both really, really good cards, and now both of these can kill this. So that's actually super, super good. Um, and there we go. I'm liking this deck so far, guys. I gotta be honest. It's very aggressive, uh, and I like that. <laughs> I really like that. Uh, it feels a little techy, too. Like, it's, I don't know, it's got a cool vibe to it. Um, I'm into this deck. I really am. Uh, obviously, it's no Agent of Treachery, but we're still getting some really powerful Winota hits, uh, which is really, really good. So, um, sure. Two lands is not gonna do it. Um, Gonna kill something here, I'm assuming? Okay. Now we get to kill this. Oh, no, we don't. I'm sorry. Did that? Did I mis misinterpret that? It looks like I did. My mistake. Uh, let's do this. Let's go ahead and drop it, because it does have haste. Just go ahead and put this out, too. Why not? All right. Um, mentor, we'll put it on this. Another Tajik. Um, uh, we'll deal the damage here. That is a nice little synergy with this as well, that um, with all the legendary permanents, we actually get to sacrifice them, assuming we have Judith out, and just start pinging away. So, I like that. All right. Well, so far, so good. Six, or, excuse me, <laughs> three wins. Uh, hopefully six wins by the end of this. But so far, three very, very straightforward wins. Not too long a game. Uh, I I like this. Uh, I'm really, really enjoying this deck. Feels very, very potent. Uh, worth noting, I did not build this deck. Uh, I did pull the list. Uh, again, I kind of was looking around this morning, and this is what I found. I'm loving it. I am really loving it. So we'll jump into a second video here. Do stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below if you did, and subscribe if you are not already. Uh, also, make sure to check out the links down below. Hang out with us on Discord. Maybe uh, check out our website if you're interested in picking up those space lands. They are available now. We had a couple orders over the weekend, so thank you to you guys uh, who've uh, been picking those up. We certainly appreciate it. So thanks a lot, guys. I will see you very soon with part two with this Mardu Winota deck. It's a sweet one.